Okay, so I'm a little late um, getting this recording in. It's now the 9th of March, but can I talk about my solar production of my UK solar PV system here in the UK for the month of February 2020? And uh, we'll go through um, all the stats just to set the baseline. This is a 9 kilowatt system that's limited by a 6 kilowatt inverter. I also have a uh, Tesla Powerwall 2, a Tesla uh, Model S is my EV, and I'm also using a My Energy Eddy to kind of heat hot water of any surplus uh, solar, and a My Energy Zappy, the first generation one, to charge my EV. So let's roll the intro and then we'll get into the monthly stats. <laughs> Okay, so before we head over to the computer to look at the stats on the Solar Edge, a couple of things uh, I thought I'd note. So obviously February this year was a leap year, and this is my excuse anyway. It kind of screwed up my organisational plans, and again, I didn't remember it until uh, the morning on the first of March that I needed the um, the history from the My Energy products, and uh, obviously. It doesn't have the historical data. Uh, also, even if um, they did, my energy made some screw up somewhere apparently. So I don't have any uh, consumption data for uh, the my energy and the mighty. So I just had the power wall at the end of the video. And as I mentioned in the previous video, to kind of provide some f feedback, um, not for this month, but hopefully in March, I'm starting to do some tracking of the amount of miles I do in my Model S and how much charging I'm doing, and so how much it's costing me in terms of the mileage and stuff that I do, which a couple of you said would be helpful. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna fly through the month, see how things have gone. I think uh, February was pretty good. Towards the end we had some nice uh, sunnier days and there's a couple of situations where I definitely charged the car a little bit, I think, um, from the solar. So I haven't looked at the statue yet myself, pop over to the computer and uh, we go through the numbers. Okay, so let's um, go through the stats uh, as we have them. So, starting off, system production for the month was 357.44 kilowatt hours, which isn't actually that bad. Um, managed to use 98% of it, so 350.62 kilowatt hours were self consumed and uh, flukily managed to export at 6.82 kilowatt hours. Uh, consumption obviously continues to be high, I've said about this before, but just in case you're watching the videos for the first time, in the cave here where I'm spending all of my days, I do have an electric panel heater, it's a 2 kilowatt um, heater, so um, that's running from basically 7am in the morning till about 1pm um, normally, uh, so that's where uh, most of my energy usage is happening during the winter. Um, so kind of high but kind of in keeping with my winter months is that 1.37 um, kilowatt uh, megawatt hours of energy consumed and only 26 percent of that um, obviously was self-generated if we just pop down uh, at the bottom of the chart so we can see how things were so actually that's interesting so uh, 2020 uh, was much worse 2019 quite significantly there so okay I didn't I wasn't expecting that um, but yeah let's um, have a quick look at the monthly overview and we can see here that you know, there's been definitely some days where the weather wasn't great I mean February was a month of lots of rainstorms but I thought we had a couple of nice solar days that kind of tipped the edge off maybe we didn't uh, after all so never mind but um, yeah let's go through the day by day and see how things really looked. Okay, so we start off here on the first. So the usual things are happening here, as I mentioned, every month, uh, especially during the week, these winter months. So um, I'm on the Octopus Go tariff. So that's, uh, I pay five pence per kilowatt um, in between the half past 12 and half past four in the morning. And the rest of the day it's like 16 pence or something. So 
much as possible. I um, charge the power wall, I charge my car, and I heat hot water with electricity all during that off-peak hours. So that's what you see here. Power wall starting to charge, um, and then uh, hot water only charges for a couple of hours. So I think half past two that kicks in. And obviously no uh, car charging happening here. And pretty much everything is self-sustained um, during the whole day uh, on the first. Move over to the second. Uh, we can see a little bit of car charging happening here. That's why we have the, the higher spike. But you know, this is just general uh, for our house during the winter. Third, you can see um, now we're running out of power and putting from the grid by oh, what's that 5.15. So once we need to start cooking the stuff, kids coming home and uh, yeah, energy consumption goes on the rise. But nothing kind of anomalous that I can see. This must have been, ah, yes, how, how do I forget? Um, so obviously during uh, February, I also mentioned previously that I've had this issue uh, with a leak in my roof um, post having solar panels installed. Didn't kind of turn up, it uh, wasn't an issue straight away. Uh, we even got through a winter and there was no leaks, but um, there was an issue which has now, touch wood, been resolved um, last month. So there are a couple of days here where the solar's off and panels have been disconnected. And as a result, that's why we've got these kind of breaks here. So that explains that. Oh, February really does seem like a long way away in my uh, brain already, struggling to remember some of those things. A uh, little bit of decent generation up there, kind of hitting nearly to four kilowatts uh, and say through the rest of the day without any problems. Uh, here's we've got a bit of, um, bit of surplus, lots of car car charging and uh, power will go on here, must have needed a good old charge there, a little blip a bit there. Uh, but the rest of the day is uh, seen to buy our surplus. Again, here it's pretty good up until 11 p.m. Then just a little bit what the house kind of was using at that time, 800 kilowatts. So not not too bad. I think it's, uh, first week, not too bad there. Up to the seventh. Oh, some solid. Yeah, see, we did have some sunnier days. So you know, nearly five and a half uh, kilowatt peaks going on there. But um, they're not too bad, but still not quite good enough to leave us having um, surplus through into the evening. So I have to pull from the grid uh, into the late hours there. It's just so cold in um, February. So, yeah, one of the things that also has happened, started happening in February is the power wall isn't always charging itself um, fully. So the, the power wall chooses how much it's going to put in there based on what it thinks the weather's going to be like next day. Uh, and we can see here that you, know, you can tell it's not solid charging, which then means I've got a, a power deficit because the, the weather wasn't good. Uh, and these these spikes you can see here, this is where my servers are doing different things at home during the day and the, the, the panel heater's kicking in and out, in and out. And you can see that, that turns off maybe by one. Um, so things kind of get a little bit calmer um, for the rest of the day, less spiky anyway, but yeah. Unfortunately, the weather was not as predicted by the power wall. Okay, on the 10th, some solid charging of the power wall and the cars and everything. Uh, not sure why we got a little spike there that the power wall couldn't respond to. Must have been uh, over five kilowatts in total that the house was using for some reason. Um, but yeah, again, as soon as the sun's kind of going down a little bit, we're uh, pulling from the grid again. Over to the 11th, again, actually not a bad day. Ooh, we nearly hit uh, six kilowatts at one point there on the 11th, but again, running out again towards midnight. Okay, so as we go over to the 12th, and uh, this is a reasonable day, so you can kind of see that looks like it's gonna be a nice arc. Um, so some relatively solid Kind of power because it must have been a bit overcast, uh, but relatively solid throughout the day there. 13th, another little dip there, must have just been really bad cloud cover for a little bit there that just meant we had a little kind of spikes there. Odd. Um, 
the dog shaking, sorry about that. Um, move on to the 14th. Again, some weird spikes. Again, this would be, again, the panel heater doing its thing up until it seems to be going a little bit longer that day. But uh, again, not great system generation halfway through the month. Here is terrible, so you can see it must be, I think it's pretty cold um, on the 15th, and so, you know, the power was clearly, they've done some charging there. The uh, car must be plugged in as well, but hasn't fully charged. So, you know, given the early hours of the morning, the power has already been um, depleted by the heating system being on in the morning. And that just meant that, uh, you know, got some issues and to pull from the grid uh, for the rest of the day. That was the 16th, uh, not a bad day. So again, not massive um, generation, but uh, energy usage wasn't massive, but still um, come the evening, starting to pull from the grid a little bit. Uh, following day, a little bit, little bit better sun there. Not uh, splendid, 13 kilowatt hours in total for the day. Again, in the evening, we need to pull from the grid. Over to the 18th here. Um, again, there's nothing odd about here. It's just a continued frustration that as it's damn cold, uh, running the heating and as people mentioned before I have looked at alternatives but I think for the amount of months I do use it over the year and the cost to get something a bit more efficient it doesn't really make that much sense. Into the 19th it's been charging oh, the power was charging the whole time there and then obviously the hot water maybe something else as well I'm not quite sure it's a little bit higher peak than normal but again Half past four, pulling from the grid. 19th, similar story. February really isn't as good a month as I thought it was. Uh, 21st, again, not much uh, consumption, but again, towards the evening, start to pull from the grid again. Um, and again, not great uh, generation, but ooh, relatively low consumption. Uh, all things being considered through the 22nd during the daytime, obviously outside of that off peak charging window. And okay, yeah, this day's not too bad actually. So, we've obviously got a little spike there for some reason. That must be ovens turning on or something, and they're not the power will not responding quick enough. Um, but we're okay all the way into the evening there on the 23rd, then the 24th again, very. Spike there, that must be cooking, I think, with hobs going on and off. I tend to be using the hob a lot more than the oven um, last few months, that would explain some of those spiky activity. 25th, not too bad, a little smidge of surplus there, which is uh, interesting, but again, uh, not enough to keep us going all the way through into the evening. We have to pull a little bit in the late hours from the grid again. Again, a little bit better. See, we did. I knew we had some a good day at some point. So 26, there we see we we clip out at uh, six kilowatts for a short period of time. Um, so there was some decent generation. But again, this is a cold weather still, and the heat is on. Meant we still had to pull from the grid in the evening, and then the 27th. Again, pretty decent day. A bit varied. Again, we clipped out at six kilowatts there. Which is good, but we had good generation, kept us going all the way through to the evening. 28th, uh, not good. Uh, lots of obviously energy uses from the grid pretty much all the way through the day. And uh, consistent, so we're not using loads um, during the daytime, but still a high amount. And then finally, on the 29th, we get some good weather. Look at that. Good way to go into the month. You can see that solid line. Let's move this out of the way. Come on. Solid line. Uh, there it's full clipping at six kilowatts for a short period of time and uh, yeah see this towards the end of the month in good shape okay so that wraps up um, kind of going through the solar production everything and how things worked out as I mentioned in the beginning video don't have um, all the information but we'll share some of the stuff that I have with you so for the power wall for the month we're able to got able to get uh, 394 kilowatt hours of energy out of the power wall but obviously we Majority of that we pulled from the grid um, most of the time, a little bit of solar kind of went in there. But as you saw at the end of February, um, March is starting to get a bit better, but again, it's, it's raining outside as I record this, so um, who knows. A couple of people had asked about what my bills look like 
Um, so during, um, I think that must, I'm trying to think if that happened during February as well, or maybe at the end of January, I think it was, I got um, some new Smets 2 uh, meters installed by Octopus because basically my uh, gas meter was doing all sorts of strange things and turning my gas off intermittently. Um, so they came and replaced both of them. So now all of my um, meet, meters are sending Octopus um, the meter reading. So I'm kind of down to them to kind of send me information. So what I have, uh, what I can show you right now is that uh, from gas perspective, so it pretty much covers um, February is from the 29th of January to the 3rd of March. So a little bit in excess of that. Um, we use the total of 1,622.6 kilowatt hours uh, of gas at um, 3.10 pence per kilowatt hour. So after standing charges and, and whatnot, the cost uh, for gas for that month was £58.70. So we only use gas for central heating. Um, and I think, remember correctly, that the kids have been off um, a couple of times uh, sickness, so which meant my wife was probably at home um, from work, which means the heating's on during the day, whereas normally it's off, because again, over here in the cave we have that uh, panel heater. And then um, the electricity bill, the only one I have is, I don't have anything from February, let's see. I had noticed the billing had been a bit intermittent. I'm sure I had a gas an electricity bill recently. Let me just check my emails. Apologies whilst I uh, annoy you for a moment. I'm sure I had one just the other day. Here we are, 6th of March. That was just gas. Yeah, okay. Don't think I've had an updated electricity bill. Oh, no, we have. No, no, I haven't. That's still only from January. So I'm still waiting um, for the bill for electricity. Uh, again, I'm confident it should be relatively low. I mean, normally, even with that electricity usage, because most of it happens um, off peak, it should be it's normally about. Pounds, something like that in the winters. Um, but since I had the Smets 2 meters installed, that little meter box which I didn't use, the smart meter display, it tells me all sorts of nonsense. So uh, I try to ignore that. But yeah, let me know um, below in the comments how your system performed during February. I'm really hoping that March sees the end to the cold um, so I can get the panel heater off in here so I'm not freezing my bits off and um, a bit better kind of solar, so uh, you can start being off-grid again for a little bit. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek-type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.